Dear students, today we will discuss about the salient features of petromyzone. When we talk about the systematic position, petromyzone belongs to phylum Caudata, group Craniata, subphylum Vertebrata, class Cephalo, Spidomorphi, order petromyzone to form is family petromyzone to D, and genus is the petromyzone. The salient feature includes that it is the uh, also called C. lamprey, it is the most primitive living vertebrate. Petromyzone marinus is marine. At name, name itself reveals it is an ectoparasite. It sucks the blood of fishes and turtles. It has an elongated cylindrical and eel like body. The body consists of three regions which are head, trunk, and tail. The head is cylindrical and has a buccal funnel, a mouth, a single nariz, and a pair of eyes and seven pairs of gill slits. Here you can see the example, the petromyzone uh, attached to its host, host is the fish, and you can see the scars of earlier attacks. Buccal funnel, the mouth is surrounded by a cup-like structure called buccal funnel. The buccal funnel is a cup-like structure situated at the interior end of the head. It is directed to downwards. It functions as a sucker. It is circular in shape. It is surrounded by a mar uh, marginal membrane. This membrane is beset with numerous short projections called oral papillae or oral fimbriae. The center of the buccal funnel has a circular mouth. A tongue protrudes through the mouth. A nariz is present on the dorsal surface of the head. It leads into an olfactory sac. Behind each eye, literally, there are seven pairs of gill slits. You can see the petromyzone, the, the buccal funnel, and uh, you can see the example. There are the gill slits, eye, trunk, the anus, the caudal fin. They are the first and second dorsal fin. When you talk about the buccal funnel, this is the, where, as I had mentioned, this is the marginal membrane. It is uh, comprised with oral fimbriae. In the center, there is the buccal funnel at the opening of the mouth you can see here and they are the infraoral tooth plate which are below the mouth and the upper side supraoral tooth plate and the on the whole body is covered of the buccal funnel with horny teeth and they are the sensory papillae. Trunk is also cylindrical it has two median dorsal fins as I had mentioned in the previous diagram. The fins are supported by cartilage rods called fin rays. At the junction of the trunk and tail, the anus and the urogenital aperture are present on the ventral side. The tail is laterally compressed. It has a caudal or tail fin. The tail fin is also supported by fin rays. Respiration is carried out by seven pairs of gill pouches. The skeleton is cartilaginous and not bony. It is made up of skull, vertebral column, and a set of rods. The secondary system is closed tight. The skeletal system is made up of seven pairs of mesonephrous kidneys. The skeletal system is made up of a pair of mesonephrous kidneys. The development is indirect. It means it includes a larva called amosit larva. When we talk about the breeding and migration, Petroposan has a peculiar breeding habit and breeds only once in his life. Mature males and females migrate from sea to rivers for breeding. This type of migration is called anadromous migration. Means when barren to fresh water, it is called anadromous. When we talk about the rivers, that is from river to sea, it will be catadromous. So what happens during the migration, the element can becomes non-functional. They do not feed. They use the fat stored in the muscles and beneath the skin. They travel hundreds of miles and reach the place where their parents and grandparents breed. In the river, a male and female slat a site in the clear moderately fast flowing water and they build a nest. The buccal funnel is used to remove the stones. So, this is the brief about the uh, petromyzone, which is in the syllabus of BSC per second. We have to study only salient features. I hope you all enjoyed the lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.